Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going over the usual weekly update that I've been doing for months. <laughs> for the majority of the channel. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So starting off, we have some new avatar boards that just came out today. They are the Bambi uh, avatar boards and they honestly look pretty nice. They look kind of, you know, folly uh, or, you know, suited for the fall basically with the scarves and sweaters and stuff uh it actually looks pretty nice to be honest however the main thing to note about these avatar boards are of course their skills uh now it comes with a skill perk of plus two that like you can ignore that basically that's so low it is not even relevant um however the actual like metal skills are attack boost eight max attack boost seven max and lux plus as well as defense boost six now, the defense boost 6 isn't really nearly as relevant, although if you, it is a nice, like, you know, if you're running low of it, if you need it, sure, go ahead and grab it, okay? Um, however, the main thing is going to be the attack boost skills, of course, okay? This is the first time we're getting attack boost 8 max, um, and if you're aware, we also, as Colosseum PvE rewards, uh, depending on your rankings in the tier brackets, you can get rewarded uh, attack boost 8 max engage 2 from PvE and Coliseum. So, I'm actually a little surprised that they're releasing a type boost 8 max first through the avatar boards rather than the through the uh, Coliseum rewards. Kind of caught me by surprise, but hey, I, I guess I'll, I'll take it. But in terms of whether or not you should actually get this, now it, you should only get this if you're like severely lacking in, in good attack skills, basically. Like, I don't know about you guys, but we've been receiving so many avatar boards <laughs> the last month that I, you could almost say that you don't want to, you don't even need to get this avatar board this time. Um, the attack boost eight max does make it a little tempting just because it's a completely new and better skill. It's currently the strongest skill, of course. Um, but because of the fact that we've gotten so many avatar boards lately, it is completely justifiable if you want to pass this up. For me personally, I'm probably going to end up at the very least passing this up for now because uh, in, ca in case you have not been aware, if you didn't check or so, the Avatar board does last for 11 days and today is the fifth at the time of making this video. Um, so at the very least, these Avatar boards will still be out there available when the Organization 13 event comes around and depending on how strong you are, of course, uh, maybe when that time comes around, you might have enough jewels to not only get the Organization 13 medal if you plan to get it, on top of maybe you'll have a little bit extra left to uh, get one of these avatar boards as well. That remains to be seen and also depends, of course, as to what new medals might come out in between that, if any. So, hey. At the very least, you can just wait until more Lucia comes out for Organization 13 before making a decision as to whether or not you want to get these avatar boards. That's what I'm most likely going to end up be doing. Next up on the list is the VIP deal. To be honest, I'm pretty much going to be skipping the VIP deal um, this week because there's literally, there's, there's like no reason to get VIP this week, okay? It's just, <laughs> it's not a joke when I say like this has probably been one of the worst VIP deals that I have seen in quite a long time. And I've been getting VIP every week consistently for almost the last year or so. Okay, so this will actually be my first time in a very long time that I'm not going to be getting VIP. And let me tell you why real quick, uh, just going through everything that is is like within VIP and what isn't within VIP. Okay, first of all, the times two gems for each attribute, that's not enough. I've stated this multiple times on the channel already, but this is not enough. This is atrocious, okay? Like the only way that this this entire like what they're giving us for VIP would be considered worth it for me is one this needs to at least be five gems each okay of each attribute at the very least upgrading keyblades past 35 is so expensive at this point like in terms of like the number of jewels I mean gems that you need to upgrade them two is not gonna cut it <laughs> like quite literally two is not gonna cut it you're not even gonna you're not even gonna be able to do maybe like one keyblade upgrade okay like, I'm at the point where my finger 
requires seven power gems in order to seven or eight power gems in order to get to uh, 36.1 it's it's ridiculous the magic brooms and mirrors uh, deal now it's not that bad but to be honest at least for the magic mirrors I feel like the magic mirrors need to at least be doubled if not tripled just because of the fact that like everything is trying to be seven star at this time and we're constantly trying to evolve our metals where seven even though seven magic mirrors are nice it's it's not nearly enough for the number of metals are in this game there's like over 500 metals in this game and you think seven magic mirrors is going to make a significant difference that, like that's what i'm trying to say um now the seven magic brooms that's not bad however we get like four we practically get an entire set of magic brooms like every week or every other week at this point either through the raid bosses that we get you get at least like four or five magic brooms just from the raid boss boards um and from whatever other events that come out so in that aspect like this deal right here is it's kind of lacking in itself too <laughs> I would almost say you might as well just double if not triple this as well in order to make it feel worth it for the 15 bucks uh, that VIP is offering okay um, and for those of you obviously that are not in the what the US uh, it's cost more for you it's not 15 bucks for you it's like 20 or 25 bucks for you which is even more atrocious uh, and of course the metal for this week is just it's just I don't want to say bad exactly just because of the fact that I, I kind of believe that every metal has their use even if it's not very apparent right away uh, I just I believe that every metal can be used in some way shape or form but it's definitely like one of the worst metals that we've received from VIP in a very long time to be honest this VIP metal should have probably been more of a banner metal instead it is not worth purchasing with real life money to get this metal uh, I can I'll say that much at least and that's pretty much it for a VIP and like the fact that this is all we're getting and the things that we are getting for VIP are just sub optimal quite honestly this is a VIP I would only pay maybe like six bucks for I, I value this VIP as like six bucks but anyways next up we have the seven star tier six to seven deal uh, I'm just gonna say this real quickly just skip it like, I, like the only reason you would even want to pull from this banner is if you're like you're a newish player and you don't have enough seven star like really solid uh, seven star medals at the moment. Okay. Otherwise, just skip the medal. Okay. Um, there's no guarantee you're gonna get good medals from this deal, such as like the the old four four teller medals, for example. It's just not worth doing it. Um, now, on the flip side, it does only cost 1,200 jewels, which is nice. Uh, you only get five medals and you can only do it up to five times a day so the fact that it's a really low jewel cost honestly is not that bad it's not that bad for the banner it is it's not that bad but because of the fact that like there's really no point in actually doing it you can skip it last but not least we have the return of the swift striker championship thing event that they kind of had not so long ago they're bringing it back um personally i know people have been asking me as to like what are my thoughts about it and such uh, and how I've undone about it and stuff. But personally for me, I, I'm very indifferent about these type of events because I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's not worth busting a nut over trying to win a title, okay? Um, which is what it was last time. To me, that was like, there, there's nothing, as a top tier player, there's nothing interesting about trying to get a title. I barely look at titles in the first place, let alone my own title or other people's titles what i care about are you know keyblades and metals and like mechanics and stuff and you know whether or not they'll actually address the you know actual core problems with this game such as um all these obsolete features such as like you know money and the fact that they keep bringing back zero ap campaigns which makes ap in general just kind of pointless and such so an event like this that doesn't really bring anything to the table to me is is, is just something i i, I kind of like glance at it and i look away and i just kind of forget about it that's how it is towards me i'm very indifferent about it um now granted this time you you can receive 500 jewels uh if you're in top 5,000, you can receive up to 300 jewels um, which is honestly a bit of an upgrade from compared to last time but again i'm not gonna bust my head over trying to guarantee a spot in in this in this event like i get 300 jewels from daily login from one daily login so it's like 
It's nothing to go crazy about, basically. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you were not aware, I am starting daily streams now during the weekdays uh, at 4 a.m. PST, or if you're on the Easter Standard Coast, I'm streaming at 7 a.m. EST. I'll go ahead and post my schedule up here on the screen as of right now. Uh, some of the games are subject to the change, of course, once I beat them, and then others, of course, are just like everlasting. Uh, just un until at the very least I lose interest in them. This morning I streamed the Magic the Gathering Arena beta on Twitch. Tomorrow I will be streaming uh, Union Cross early in the morning. So if you're interested in any of these games that I play, uh, go ahead and check me out here on YouTube or on Twitch. I've said it before, but I'm planning at the very least to only stream here on YouTube Kingdom Hearts related uh, games. Anything else, I'm going to be streaming solely on Twitch. Final Fantasy is up for debate if you guys are okay with me streaming Final Fantasy uh, here on the channel for streaming. Uh, but you guys would have to let me know that. But other than that, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. I'll uh, Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, especially about the Swift Tracker event. And but other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.